I'm Amber. And I'm Emily. And we're marine scientists exploring the world's oceans. On today's episode of Science CTV, we're joined by our friend and fellow explorer, Ocean Allison. Allison is a marine biologist with a passion for communicating ocean science. Her research has taken her around the world, from Indonesia to Antarctica. And today, she's taking us right here to our very own backyard in San Diego. So come on, let's dive in and explore San Diego's tide pools. Thanks, Emily and Amber. Hi, I'm Ocean Allison, and today we'll be going on a tide pooling adventure. I'm here at False Point in San Diego, California, and this is just one of the many great places to go tide pooling here in San Diego. Tide pools are an extremely important ocean ecosystem. It's where the land meets the ocean, and many different marine animals depend on this for their habitat. So come on, let's see what we can find today. Shorebirds, believe it or not, are actually the top predator in the tide pool ecosystem. At low tide, when many of the marine animals are exposed, that's when the shorebirds come in. You can often see them hopping along the rocks or wading in the shallow waters, trying to find some nice invertebrates to have as a meal. So a lot of times when I'm tide pooling, I like to find the animals that are hiding beneath the rocks by lifting them up. But I'm always really careful that I put them back exactly how I found them. So under this rock, I actually just found a really cool animal called a chitin. And the chitin is a type of mollusk that has eight plates on its back. And this is one of the most ancient animals on our planet. These animals have been around for many millions of years, and they're really prehistoric. So I just lifted up this rock, and I just found a brittle star. Brittle stars are close relatives to sea stars because they've got five arms. They've got the same radial symmetry. And brittle stars are a type of echinoderm, an invertebrate that lives here in the San Diego tide pools. So here we have a sea hare. These are sea slugs. They're called sea hares because they look like they have two little bunny ears, but they are a type of mollusk, a shellless mollusk, meaning that they do not have a protective shell on them like most other mollusks. Sea anemones are another common animal found here in the tide pools. Sea anemones are a type of cnidarian, closely related to corals and jellyfish because of their stinging cells. And scientists at one time believed that these were plants. That's why they were named after the anemone flower. But in fact, they are animals, often consuming uh, crabs, fish, and even plankton. So I hope that you enjoyed exploring this tide pool ecosystem with me today. When you go tide pooling, you can be a good ocean steward by making sure that you're not stepping on any of the animals while you're walking through the tide pools, and also making sure to always put back rocks where you found them if you're lifting them up. This way, we can protect this really important marine ecosystem. If you want to follow me and my ocean adventures, check out Ocean Allison on social media. Now back to you, Emily and Amber. Thanks, Allison. If you want more information on Allison's research, check out the description below. She's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
She also airs her own podcast on SoundCloud. She interviews people who are making positive changes for the ocean. And if you like our channel, make sure you click subscribe and follow the links below for more information on our research. Stay tuned for the latest on what's happening in our oceans.